Hey guys, welcome back to the Chili Channel. It's Pete the Norfolk Chili Head. Uh, I've got another review for you today. Now, as you know, if you've watched any of my videos before, I've been some, on sort of a quest, I guess, to find some really decent hot chocolate. And uh, I think that well, what I've got for you today might just be what I've been looking for. This is Black Widow dark chili chocolate from Grim Reaper Foods. Uh, it says, with sinfully wicked Naga Jolokia, ghost pepper, lemon oil and geranium. Dare you play with fire. I love the packaging on this, the artwork. You've got the Grim Reaper on here with his scythe with a chili pepper on it instead of a blade. You've got this lovely ribbon with Grim Reaper Foods sort of uh, emblazoned into it in silver. I don't know if that shows up on the camera, but it's shiny, which is really cool. Um, and the actual packaging itself, you might not be able to pick that up, but it's actually kind of looks like a book, of all things, which is, is pretty cool. I really like it. Um, it says on the back, The Reaper sent out the creature in the dead of night, <laughs> with one single purpose, to enslave her victims. One bite, she'll own you. Beware of the Black Widow. Uh, it says, Grim Reaper Foods, specialist chili, ch chili products, heat that comes for you. Ingredients-wise, we've got dark chocolate, which is 70% cocoa mass, so it's pretty pretty good quality chocolate. We've got essential oil of lemon, essential oil of geranium, nigrojolokia powder, and that's it. Suitable for vegans, uh, contains soya, no palm oil used, etc. Uh, Grim Reaper Foods are based in Hemel Hempstead in the UK. If anyone's from around here, you'll, you'll have heard of Hemel Hempstead. Uh, and you can get this from hotheads.com, which is where I get all my stuff, or grimreaperfoods.com. Link down the bottom. Um, so, is there anything else to tell you? I don't think so. That's pretty much it. Oh, you can follow them on Twitter if you like as well, Grim Reaper Foods, or Facebook, Grim Reaper Foods. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. So, let's crack this open. Uh, I'm not really 100% sure how to get into it. I guess I've just got to figure out how to get through this ribbon. I've got no idea what geranium tastes like, I do have to say. So, I don't know if I'll be able to pick that up at all. I'm guessing it's going to be quite floral, but I'm just guessing, I don't really know. Oh, awesome. Well, I love the way it opens like a book. And you've got this advertising for the Hellraiser sauce, Hell sauce, chocolate, and purgatory chocolate. I did know it's on the Hot Hedge website, they've got quite a few of these from uh, Grim Reaper Foods, so I'm looking forward to this. And it does say inside as well, National Chili Awards 2012 and 2011 winners for their Hellraiser and the Purgatory. So that's pretty cool. Oh, and also Quality Food Awards 2012 finalist. Wow. So these guys also obviously have a bit of a reputation and um, it seems to be going down well in a lot of places, so that's cool. I'm actually thinking of going to the Fire Foods Festival this year, maybe bumping into Ted Barris and Darth Naga, who are doing some, uh, some guest judging out there. So that'd be cool, my nice little YouTube meter. Uh, right, so I'm going to try and get into this. Bear with me a second. Uh, there we go. <laughs> okay. So obviously with Margaret Olakia in here, go Spetha, I'm expecting heat. Hmm. Smells floral. It does smell a bit like um, Turkish Delight, actually. I'm not keen on Turkish Delight. That kind of like a jelly, you know, you know that jelly sort of um, aroma you get from it. Hmm. I'm not really keen on the aroma, to be honest, but hey, that's just because I don't like Turkish Delight. Oh well. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. Mm. Wow, it's really nice, really nice, and it is quite hot. The heat doesn't just go straight for the back of the throat like it does with a lot of chili chocolates. 
It does initially hit the mouth and tongue, but now it already has moved back to the back of the throat. And I think it's already peaked. It is sort of dying down a little bit now. Flavour-wise, yeah, it does have that floral note that you get with, with Turkish Delight. Um, just without all the horrible jelly in there. So I do prefer it. The, the floral note is quite interesting. I guess that's coming from the geranium. Um, I'm not really getting much lemon, which is disappointing because I love lemon. Uh, maybe a very small amount, but hardly anything. Um, you obviously get the nice dark chocolate flavour straight away. That floral note from the geranium and then the, the heat kicks in. Um, it's already peaked, so you know it's dying down. But you do get a strong initial hit. Um, in terms of chili chocolate, probably well, it's certainly up there with the hottest that I've had so far. Um, but it's not so hot that you can't snack on it. You know, you could go through a fair old amount of this and still be quite happy. Uh, so yeah, that's really nice. I really like that. Black Widow dark chili chocolate from Grim Reaper Foods. Nice floral flavour. Good quality chocolate and a decent kick of heat. Uh, now I've tried that, I might go back to them sometime and, and get the Hellraiser and the Purgatory. Um, it says Purgatory has mixed spice, bergamot, cocoa nibs. Hellraiser has sweet orange, clove oil, and cinnamon. Hmm. So they sound, both sound pretty good. But that was the Black Widow. And I got to say, I kind of liked it. Alright, thanks for watching, guys. I'll be back. Once again, very soon with another fantastic review for you guys. Thanks for watching. See ya.